All right, so this is gonna be timing on a 78, maybe a 77 uh, Toyota pickup. You can do whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, timing's off on this one, but this is just to show you what's going on. Let's take a look. All right, so first off, what we need to do is take off the vacuum hose going to the vacuum advance. On this, your timing indicator is right on the crank pulley on the bottom. See it right there, the light's shining right on it. It has a number eight lit up, not lit up, put on there. Let's get something to plug it. All right, so to get the vacuum advance off, we use these really long EVAP pliers. Sorry if the wind's getting picked up by the uh, mic on the computer. Computer. It says on the computer is a phone. Camera is what I meant. So we got it plugged. No vacuum leak right there on the vacuum advance. So now we are going to point our timing light right at the pulley. On this one, you can see the white flashing line right on the number eight before the number eight. This one's more so, it's actually two degrees, like I said before we did the video, so it's a fail on timing specification. It's gonna be eight degrees, plus or minus three degrees uh, for California smog. So this uh, lady's gonna have to go get a repair done, which is gonna be a timing adjustment. If you had to adjust the timing, it's only one bolt on the side of the distributor right here. That one right there. You're gonna loosen it up and then you would turn the distributor clockwise or counterclockwise to go retarded or advance. Remember to check us out here at Easy Smog. No, we're at seven days a week smog at Berkeley or at Easy Smog. Remember to like and subscribe. Remember to request any videos that you want to see. So EVAP canisters, timing adjustments, or checks, not adjustments. Anything else? Like, share. See you guys later.